let's create circuit diagrams. So we're going to show you how to use the uh, diagrams.net uh, package, which lets you create circuit diagrams. It used to be called draw.io, but they've changed the name. It's exactly the same. So there are two versions. Um, you can use an app version, which should be installed on the computer and certainly will be by the time that your exam comes around because you're not allowed to use the web uh, version, the internet, for your assessment. But there we go. I'm going to show you how to do it with the web version, which is available at diagrams.net. So you can use this at home. I'm going to click on start. If you click on download, you can install it on your own computer. I'm going to create a new diagram. Now from my new diagram, I need to give it a name. Please don't just accept untitled diagram or do circuit one. You need to be, you need to give um, a title to it so that you don't just have a big pile of untitled diagrams sitting in your folder. You need to know what it is that you're doing. Okay, so this is just circuit for a demo. And you're going to click on blank diagram and click create. At the bottom, there's a little one asking you if you want to install the app. It will disappear after you move the mouse over it. Now. In order to be able to do this, what I've done is I've created a scratch pad that has all the um, elements that you're going to need. So we're going to go to the view menu and choose scratch pad. At the moment it's empty. So what we need to do is we need to add it. So we click on the pencil, which is called edit, and now we need to get the scratch pad. Now there are two places to get this from. <coughs> the first one is from OneNote. I've drawn a nice little circle around it, the scratch pad, and I can right click on that and go to save as and then wherever I'm going to choose to save that I can choose it to save it on my desktop um, I usually do stuff in downloads so I can save it in downloads and I've got my scratch pad there it's also available from the microcontrollers section of solar so if you prefer to you can access it from there as well so I'm now going to uh, go back to where I was and I'm going to go to import and I'm going to import the scratch pad I just created and click save. Now I now have a bunch of objects over here. If you hover the mouse over it, it shows you a zoomed up version and at the bottom it tells you what it is. So for our circuit diagrams, the first thing I'm going to start with is my Arduino. Then let's build up some LEDs. Let's add a couple of LEDs. You'll notice that the LEDs automatically come with the uh, automatically come with the resistor um, attached, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm now going to connect this up to my circuit. Now the idea of a circuit diagram is you're just showing connections. Where it's placed it doesn't have to have a physical um, to be in the same place as the physical circuit. All you're doing is you're showing connections. So I've got one side of the LED is going to connect to my Arduino and the other side connects to resistor and down to ground. Now if you move your mouse over the top you'll find that if you move it over the end there's a little tiny cross and a little green dot. Okay see the little green dot that's what you want to do. If you've selected the object that sometimes doesn't work but just move the mouse over there green dot. Click and hold and then drag up to the pin you want to attach to. And you should see again there are little X's and green dots for all the pins. So if we want to put this LED into, let's go for pin 8. I have done that. And we connect the other end again, green dot, and we want to go down. There's no green dot this time, but we go down to the ground wire at the bottom. Let's do this for my second LED and let's connect my second LED into pin 10 and then connect it down to ground. You'll notice that as I move it around, it always does it. It doesn't go diagonal, it always goes horizontal and vertical. That's intentional because that's the way we draw circuit diagrams. Now, because I have done it that way, when I now move these objects, if I want to rearrange them, it keeps the connections in place. So if you find you have to juggle them around to accommodate extra bits, you your connections are still made and you just don't have to worry about them. However, for a circuit diagram, we don't usually have little arrows. So for the ones that connect into our Arduino, click on the line. So I've got my line here, I've clicked on it. You can see it's got the little blue dots on there. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change my line end to none. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. 
Okay, now you'll notice that right where I'm going to put my mouse here, the two lines cross over. Now you used to draw a little bump in the in the line there to show that those lines don't actually cross over. They are just where um, I need to cross. I need to kind of cross my lines in the diagram to make sure I can get to where I want to go to. But there's no physical connection. Down at the bottom here where the uh, wire from the bottom of the resistor goes down to ground that's not just where they're uh, running over the top of each other they are actually connected and we show they're connected by a little dot so if I click on this line here and I'm going to change the end here from an arrow to a little circle and do the same over here now when I've done this you can see that there's now a little circle and that means that's a connection that bit there that's just where they run over the top of each other but that's an actual connection. So you need to be able to do that with your circuits. Now, that's not all. There's some other stuff over here. For example, let's look at an LCD display. Let's put my LCD display here. Now, it's a little bit to the right, so what I need to do is I need to extend these. I'm going to move over that little blue dot, and I'm going to pull the blue dot out a bit, trying to keep horizontal, like that pull it out, if I don't keep horizontal I just get a little tail at the end like that which looks a bit odd so let's undo that and let's just drag it out horizontally like that so VCC at the top again move over so I've got that little green dot and go all the way up to the 5 volt power rail because that's what VCC means GND that's the ground so I'm coming down to the ground line SDA again hover get my little green dot and I need to go to SDA over here and SCL I'm coming to SCL over here and again because I'm going into the Arduino we don't need the little uh, dot at the end so let's get rid of that click on there get rid of the dot there now technically that's correct but it's a little bit jumbled they're over the top of one another so let's reroute these let's click on the SDA one let's move it over the little blue dot shift this one upwards now I'm going to shift this a little bit to the left and this one a little bit to the left and it avoids contact with my two LEDs let's take this one and uh, drop it down a little bit let's pull that over there pull that over there and I'm happy with that I'm now avoiding my LEDs and I can see where I'm making my connections right when I've got this what I need to be able to do is save now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, export as if you choose to save then oh, I do save as if I go and go to save it will then download as um, a file that can be opened okay this one here however if I open Microsoft Word which you're going to need to do because uh, when we do this um, unit your assessment is going to be a Word document okay and then go to uh, downloads when I take this file put it in try and put that in my word file that will spins my little disk that tells me it's getting on with something it just gives me something like that. It, it's not a format that I can actually do that with so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to export as PNG now you notice there's a little box at the bottom which says include a copy of my diagram always make sure that box is ticked and I'll show you why in a second. If I then go to export and then it will let me do it. Ask me where I want to put it. I'm just going to store it on my device but if you want to you can sign in and store it on OneDrive. It's probably a good idea because if you store it on OneDrive you're never going to lose it. But uh, for the moment I'm going to just store this on my device. Okay. I now have um, a picture. So let's open my Word document and I can now take my picture and put it in my Word document and it's inserted as a picture and that's what the, my circuit as it wants to be and you can manipulate that, move it around, do whatever you want okay so that's quite good now let's say I've had enough of this and I want to come back let's click on leave let's click on start so we open a new one 
Okay, waiting. Open existing diagram. It's going to open to download. Now I can open the dot draw draw dot io, but because but I can click on the um, picture that I saved, and it will also open and let me edit it, move stuff around, and do everything I want with it. If on the other hand I go to export as PNG and untick include a copy of my diagram. Okay, now if I try to open it, open from device, there we go, it tells me that I can't actually open it. So as long as when you are saving it, the best way of doing it is export as PNG and make sure that little box is ticked and that way you can both put it into a Word document and you can also come in and you can move stuff around and add extra stuff to your diagram.